This is uh, Andreas Beeren. I'm going to show you how to uh, fix the Scion Hell 3D or 3 HD uh, patch. It has a uh, frame issue. So I'm just going to load it up here and show you it uh, not working just so you can see that it works when I apply it. I'm going to skip the uh, starting cutscenes. settings running correctly because initially when you install it it may still uh, have an FPS issue so you're gonna want to go to uh, this site pcgamingwiki.com and find uh, Silent Hill 3 and get the uh, fix by Steam 006 and once you download it you're going to want to right click it and extract 7-zip extract to uh, file then you open this and there will be uh, stuff in here you copy that over to your Silent Hill 3 install file. A good way to do it if you have a uh, thing on the desktop is right click it and you can go to open file location and you'll find uh, where it's installed. And then right here you want to go into the configuration settings and you scroll down to uh, right here 0, 1, 2, 3. 0 is the original. 0 might have been what it was originally at where I was trying to get to not work so I'll do that and see if that's what it was. But uh, 3 worked really nice for me. I had 3 on, it was locked to uh, 60. And so you just push uh, exit and save. And then when you run the game, you want to run it from the DLL injector. That's why I have the Silent Hill 3. Normally when you install it, it will have this picture. I deleted that shortcut and created a new shortcut of this. You right click it and uh, create shortcut. And it will tell you you can't create it here. So it'll ask you if you want to create it on the desktop. Yeah, let's uh, run it and see if I broke it, so you can see what it originally uh, ran at. Alright, new game. Yeah, it should. I When I originally tested it, it was kind of crappy in the starting area, and I wanted... Fix it up. Yeah, see, you can see it was kind of crapping out there for a second. Thank you for tuning in. Stay safe and uh, keep on gaming. Bye for now.